know he loves me, but I just want more security. I want to be Oliver Twist, at least for now. You want Frankie who was he right? Frankie is a nice and innocent guy. I know. I know. I know. What if I tell you that this same so-called lover boy is also dating Lizette Epier, the daughter of the aviation minister? What? No. That can be true, Daddy. Now you're calling your father a liar. Just write the check for a jeep and I'll let you go. Mrs. Appiah is driving a brand new jeep. I am not a government minister for Christ's sake. But you have the money. So give me the jeep. You may not be a government minister, but you're a successful businessman. Or are you not? reading books. When are you ever going to stop? I will stop when they stop writing. You're welcome. Thank you. So, how is Chief? He's fine. You kept me waiting. I'm sorry. You know, since the traffic lights around Post Central stopped working, it is not easy crossing that area. Hmm. Okay. Anyway, you are here now. So what do I offer you? Me? Don't bother about me. I am no stranger here. I know where to get what I want. It's Mississippi at places. Yeah. Now, tell me that thing you were trying to talk to me on the phone. I hope there is not a person in the house. I'm all alone. My house has just gone to the market. Like I hinted you on the phone. That guy is so cute. Just the kind of guy we need. Oh my God. I'm telling you, he charmed me the very first time I set my eyes on him. You sound so enthusiastic about this guy. I oh, am. Yeah. He is so, so handsome. But there is a little problem. A small one. I don't like this one. Why don't you like it? Because you look too artificial in it, can't you see? I think you have a point. Why did you delete it? It's not like it's asking for food. Well, it was occupying space unnecessarily. Guess what, Carrie? Come on, girl. You know I'm not good with that. So spill. I brought Frankie to the house. You did what? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Wait a minute. How did it go? Calm down, Karel. It went just fine. <laughs> well, as in fine? Yeah. Actually, my mom welcomed him with an open heart. She even asked him to feel at home. 
Are you sure about these stories you're telling me? Why will I be lying? I'll get nothing lying. What's the trouble? He seems to be attached to my daughter, Lizette. It's a bit difficult. I think there is a solution to solve the equation. Mrs. Solution. Oh, yeah. That is why I always confide in you. Mm -hmm. Now tell me, I'm all ease. Now, this is what we are going to do. Mm -hmm. Book a rendezvous with him mm -hmm. because your first contact with him is going to determine if he's going to play the game or not. Let's start from there. Yes, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> Mrs. Solution. Oh, yeah. My personal advice mm -hmm. what can I do without you? Nothing, my dear. Mm -hmm. yes. I really want to meet that young guy who is making your body vibrate like a steam engine. <laughs> oh my God. You will meet him. He is so handsome. His mother made him well. Mm. Say that again. I am sorry, but we will have to snatch him from my daughter. I cannot afford to lose him. Wow. Now, I really need to meet that guy. Mm. Mm. Such a good boy. Mm. A strong mm. one. <laughs> you will meet him. <laughs> then you're a very, very lucky girl. Darling, you can say that again. You know, yesterday I slept like I've never slept before. Mm -hmm. What about your dad? Oh, well, he's still in the dark for now, but he will bought into the picture pretty soon. What if he disapproves of the relationship due to his social background? In that case, I'll leave him to my mom. She knows how to handle her husband. All things set aside. I'm very happy for you, girl. Thank okay. you. Oh. <laughs> okay. Back to what we were doing. I'm not a fish, I'm a point of correction. Be I'm naturally beautiful, I know that. Sometimes. But Bele, don't delete my picture. <laughs> Baby, what's going on? I mean, I need to get into the picture. I mean, I can't continue staying in the dark. Please. Baby, I said nothing is wrong, okay? I'm fine. Everything is fine. You know that's not true, right? Okay. When was the last time you called me? When was the last time we met? When was the last time you took my call? Oh, okay. Tell me. Maybe it's because I'm busy selling my shoes or because I have a lot of uh, job interviews. But I'm okay. I'm fine. Okay. Look at your face. What? It's guilt written all over you. Is there any other girl distracting you from me? I don't know. Why are you asking me all these questions? Because you were not telling me the truth. What is happening? Now I know all men are the same. I mean, how could you, Frank? How could you? How could I what? What have I done? All right, since you insist on knowing, your brother Bryce, he saw me the other day and threatened me to leave you alone, not to have anything to do with you anymore. If not, it's going to throw me in jail. What? Yeah, and I don't want to go to jail. Are you serious? Yeah, I better believe it. He even said it was going to kill me. Where are you going to? 
Hamas. So Lava doesn't scare you, huh? What the hell are you talking about, Briggs? Oh, please, don't you dare act smart with me. I know you so well. Calm down and talk to me. Stop ranting. Don't you dare patronize me. Or maybe you've forgotten that I'm like Lava. I ravish everything on my path. Stay away from Chelsea. <laughs> so it's all about Chelsea? You are ranting like a mad dog just because of Chelsea? Oh, me ranting like a mad dog. You know what? Stay away from her or else I'll show you exactly what a mad dog can do. What can you do? You are like a dead leaf to me. Do you think I'm afraid of you? Sorry, my friend. I'm above your threats. Damas, don't you try me. My venom is very poisonous. If you want it, I stink you. You are warned. If I want her, I will get her. She's a free woman. Oh, that's how it is, eh? Good day. Let's see who laughs last. Nonsense. Yeah, yes, I cleared the containers yesterday. Now, nah, it's just electronics. You know, it's my father's line of business. <laughs> it was easy, man. My father's connections and all. I just had to... Here you are. I've I'll... been looking for you for days now. How dare you, Breeze? Please, let me call you back. The fact that you're my elder brother gives you no right to run my relationship. What is the meaning of this? Have you lost some of your senses? Didn't you realize I was on the phone? I don't care. Why the hell did you confront Frankie? And what's your problem in my relationship anyway? Oh, Dad. You see, kid sister, Frankie is no good. Oh. He's a double-headed snake. Please, baby. I need you. Please make me feel like a woman. Baby. I understand that. I don't feel like doing it now. But I want to do it now. Please. Lizette. My head is not really here now. Just concentrate on me and you see your head will be there. Okay, you know what? Let's, let's, let's do it tomorrow. Or the day after tomorrow, okay? What have I done to you? Why is it that <clears throat> each time I ask you to make love to me, you always look for a way to run away from it? <laughs> Are you sure you're okay? What do you know about Frankie? He hasn't even handled your own relationships. And you think you can control mine? Hell no! Did you just talk to me like that? Do you realize I'm your elder brother? Hmm? I will talk to you anyhow, any day, anytime. Big brother, my foot. How dare you! What? Stupid! You will kill me today! Oh, please. Stupid boy! You fool! Daddy will yell this! Idiot! Chief, they are jealous of our achievement. Mm. We are going to prove them wrong. <laughs> Your Excellency, can you imagine trying to challenge me. I would let him know how to respect people who are above him. Is it our fault that we are reaping the fruits of our labor? Oh, yes, Your Excellency. But you should also make sure that he does not smell or grip any contract around your ministry. You should also be putting an eye to all your close associates. Drop an eye in those ministries that you have a fair of influence over. That they should never, ever give him a contract. Let him stay in the dooms. Anyway, let's not talk about useless people. Let's enjoy our life. Enjoy life our is life. good all the time. All the time, you're excellent. Mm -hmm. Talking about life. Have you cooked up something? Oh. You didn't notice my titi somewhere around? That's where you always laugh. There are many of such switch things always hooking around. And our young supplier has been improving his skills recently. What do you mean? Well... Maybe you're not man enough. I'm fully loaded. Don't even go there. Then prove it. Prove it by taking me to the next Lizette, level. Not, not today. Maybe another day. Not now. Why are you like this? Maybe you don't just love me. 
Said I want to make love. Baby, baby. 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 Oh, do it now. Just do it now. Oh. Seven blows. You know, this young supplier has been bringing up new faces. Excellently beautiful, well made faces. Mami Wata. Oh, yes. Well, if you want to see them, our usual place, Carlos Hotel. Same time. Same place. Same place. <laughs> you know, money is where money is spent. If you don't spend money, it becomes shit paper. Of course. But you should know it's not our money they like. It is right that not us they want. It mm. is the money. And yeah. when there is the money, we're going to show them the power of money. <laughs> what about your friend Billy? I don't think we should talk about him. I think there's some social things we should discuss. Some few things out of politics and the economy. Mm. Things coming up. But uh, I think we should discuss them later on today. Mm. At the hotel. Frankie, come on. Please just do this thing. No, 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 please. But I'm a beg, please. I, I, I'm not comfortable with this, please. Frankie, what are you afraid of? See, I can handle my daughter. Alright? All I need you to do is to make me feel happy. And you will not regret it. Frankie, I love you very much. Look at me. Am I not beautiful? Hmm? And I'm also an expert in mathematics. I'm going to surprise you. Please. Hmm? Please. See, madam, please, please. Uh... I, I cannot do this. I, I, I just cannot do this. I'm sorry. Frankie, please, please. please don't go. Frankie, don't go in this mood. Frankie? Why did you beat up your sister yesterday? Mom, she disrespected me. Hold it right there. She disrespected me. Must you beat her? I don't tell you, Larry. See, now chop, so chop. I will kill you. Make you better kill me than to die on top of a woman. How can I stand by and watch a lion come into my home and devour my most precious sheep? That boy is a wolf in sheep's loving. <laughs> 